Well, good morning. <laughs> it did snow, as it turns out. And we have a nice little, uh, nice little come down. First time in a couple of years. Andrew's helping Dad out, so he doesn't fall apart. I, uh, I'm out here fiddling, believably, with cars because I was. I know this thing skips when I change camera angle because I don't know why. But anyway, I uh, decided to, you know, remove the snow out from underneath this and pull up the uh, wiper arm to do so. It's got a nifty little latch right here which holds it up off so if you're overnight you can do that since the Germans made this for handling the feather. In fact, I would just like to make a note that this is a 1987 vintage car and I, I'm going to switch camera angle, just happened to be wearing a 1980s West German military winter jacket coat thingy. I guess I'm a private. I don't know. A private. I don't know German insignia. I'm going to switch it back. So I find it slightly ironic. And for those uh, kids who are all concerned about the environment, we were just lucky not to get nuked. Although the conspiracy theorists would say that we are actually building the nuclear bombs as a deterrent to space alien invasion. But be that as it may, I pulled this wiper arm up to get the snow out from underneath there, and now it's stuck. So I looked up a couple of threads, and they said that this does stick quite hard, and that you have to push it down way firmer than you might want, because it feels like it's going to break. Because this is like really, really locked in there. And my thinking is, oh, maybe it's frozen, I don't know. So I'm going to spray a little PB blaster on it, because one dude said that helped a little bit, even though it's a bit messy. I mean, God only knows when this was last tended to. And I'll take that urine-looking stuff off the window. And then they said, just shove it down super hard. I'm sure this is going to be a nice, greasy wiper blade pattern. We'll see. And then just shove it down super hard, way harder than you would expect. And that it would be fine. I don't know if I can attest to that. Let me see. So this tucks in underneath here. There's a little gutter. Huh. Maybe that's all it takes. I don't know. Well, I'll start it up in a minute and see how things go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start it up right now. But let's go back. Put this PV blaster away. I'll get the keys. And we will do a snow start. Andy, would you do me the honor of uh, taping this so we can see just how much black smoke it puts out in the back? Oh, yeah. Do you want to start it? Oh, do I want to start yeah, it? Yeah, do you want to start it? Sure. I think it's this one. So take this. So let's film Andrew doing some 1980s technology. So there's no computer. It's mechanical fuel injection. So what you do... Put the key in the ignition, don't crank it, but turn it on so the dash lights come on. And then turn it one notch up. And then, okay, you see the light on the far right? That's the glow plug light. When that goes off, you are now free to try and start it. So turn it. All right. Ooh, let's watch. Now, it doesn't have the knock, the hammering. I think the first uh, one of the fuel injectors is not firing well. Oh, okay. So it sounds quieter, but it runs shittier until that fuel injector gets kind of going again. And then it starts hammering and see how nice it sounds? Yeah, much better. Yeah. But when it runs, I don't know, maybe this is okay. Not bad. <laughs> Sitting in a cloud here. Let's but. Get, let's get back. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> Who says the Germans stopped using gas warfare in World War One? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do crazy camera angles. Maybe it's like 30 something degrees out here. This isn't bad. Yeah. Kind of purring. Oh, let's see if the wiper works. Ah. Have you seen the wiper? Don't they like. It's just a single one. And the, it, the controller's on the left, what looks like the left turn signal. 
Go ahead and uh, hit it. Let's make sure it works. Just twist it. There we go. So come over here and take a look at it. When it goes up, it's got a multiple gear setting. Yeah, so this it, comes out for the corner. Yeah, it goes out for the corner. It's yeah. totally cool. Interesting. Very weird. Never seen it. Yeah, they didn't do it for long. It's a nice idea. It, yeah. Big old blade. Well, I'm going to let this thing warm. Square. Side view mirrors. Oh, yeah. yeah it's all very box. 1980s. All the uh, trim was blacked out. That was very cool in the 80s. This is what it was doing. It, it would do this surgy thing. Yeah. It's coming, maybe it looks like a little bit more black smoke coming mm -hmm. out of it right now, too. I think that fuel injector is kind of getting warmed up. It's kind of shifted from blue to gray black. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. The snow's about to turn black right in there. That's kind of why I wanted to do it in the snow. I wanted to see how bad it turned. <laughs> Well, I'm going to warm it up and take it for a spin around the oh, neighborhood, nice. I think. But, but yeah, I'm going to have to redo all the black trim. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, just for fun. Ah, okay. If I paint it myself. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going to paint it yourself? Maybe. Thinking about it. I'm really not crazy about vanilla, you know? Isn't that about vanilla, would you call it? I think that's, they call I'd say that's about as close to vanilla as I can think of. <laughs> they think they call it ivory. Ivory. But to me, it looks like French vanilla. I'd say French vanilla. Yeah, you can't get much more of a blasé, bland card than that. I don't think I've seen a color that represents French vanilla more. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Andy, for of your course. help. We're going to let this thing roll. Okay, Jim's going to pull it out in the snow. And then we're going to take a little drive.